which I'm going to solve now can be tricky or maybe tricky for some of you guys and for some of you guys maybe it is going to be easy. So wooden block is given here and a hemispherical portion is cut out from one of the edges, one of the faces. It could be cut out from here, here, anywhere you take. After cutting out that portion, you are, you are supposed to find out you are supposed to find out surface area. The surface, surface area of the remaining solid. Now, representation of the cutout portion is not going to be easy. So what I'll do is I'll just just trace the you know, area of the hemisphere, the cross the base of the hemisphere on on the surface on one of the faces to tell you how the surface is cut out. So when I cut out from here, so this is going to be exactly how it is. Now the diameter of the hemisphere that has been cut out from this wooden cube is also equal to L. L is the length of the side, length of the cube of one of the sides. Okay. So now something like this is removed out. So what's happening actually here is one of the faces which earlier was having area L square is getting reduced. Here, when if I remove this, I have area L square here. Now I won't have it because I am cutting out portion out of it. And so this is going to be curved like this. This it's gonna appear something like this, like a ball placed on a you can say soft cube. If you imagine a solid ball placed on a soft cube, which or a spongy cube, it can be easily depressed inside. You can imagine that situation. And if you, to, you know, and if you, and if you, again, if you remove that ball, and imagine the depression, we are going, we are, we are supposed to find out the a surface area of the remaining solid. Surface area is equal to how many sides of a cube? Uh, how many sides are there in a cube? Six sides. But we are not adding six sides here. We are adding just 5 because this side is gone. It is removed out. So 5 L square, right? How 5 L square? This is like this. L square, L square, up to 5. Right? The 5 faces. And since you are imagining a ball kept on a soft cube, you have to add the hem hemispherical area of the soft ball, solid ball. Hemispherical area of the solid ball, right? This, that is equal to two pi r square. R here is l upon two because diameter is given as l. Diameter of the hemisphere is given as l. The radius will be l upon two. Two pi into l by two into l by. Two. How do I get this? Pretty simple. So that this is. So, cube and a so solid ball or hemis hemisphere you can imagine. From this face, from 6L square, I am removing out pi into L square, right, this area. Plus, Again, the remaining area is going to be 2 into pi into L by 2 into L by 2. So you cannot use this, right? That is because we have to subtract this surface area minus this. So 6 pi L square, 6 L square minus pi L square, you can just cut it, cut it. The question I'm about to solve is not easy. Now in this question, a wooden block is taken and uh, a spherical depression is cut out on one of the faces. Spherical depression is cut out. So it, something like this. If I'm cutting out here, and I'm looking, if I look from the top surf, on top say top face, if my point of view is here, I'm looking out on this face, and the hemispherical depression is cut out on this face. So let me just draw that. Something like this. Right? Now, the 
diameter of this cutout portion is L, and also the edge of the length, edge length is L. So we have to find out. The question is to find out surface area of the remaining portion. When you cut out a hemispherical depression on this face, you have to find out surface area. So on this face, if I'm cutting out particularly on this face, there are six faces on a cuboid or cube. If I'm cutting on this face, the right, the surface area is going to be surface area is equal to this portion is not present. You got to imagine it. This portion is not present because if spherical depression with length or with diameter L is cut out on one of the faces. So surface area is equal to this area minus area of the circle. Now this is present. L square minus pi into radius of the circle. Uh, area of the circle is pi r square, but I know the diameter of the circle as L. So ra radius is going to be half of the diameter, half of L. So this is half L square, pi r square. This is just one face. There's six. In total, there are six faces. I have taken one faces. The area, the calculation of the areas of these remaining faces is very easy. This addition of L square with five faces. Multiply that with five. One face, two face, front face has three, back face has four, and the bottom face has five. This face has one. Right, one. Left, two. Top four. Top, uh, bottom three, top four, five. Again, one two, one two, three. Front is three, back is four, bottom is five. Five faces, with all having dimensions the same. This is plus L square, L square. I hope you understand. So this is equal to plus again plus. Oh, we have forgotten one thing. This depression is. Half of the hemisphere, so that surface is also going to exist on this cutout portion. That surface is also in existence, so we have to add that surface area as well. So surface area of the hemisphere is two pi into r square. R is half of again L, so this is r by two whole square. This is L by two, two pi r. Square. Right, two pi r square. So let's just do simplification. The problem is solved. Pi l square plus l square, six l square. This is minus pi l square by four. L square by two square. That's how we have done. Two into pi l square by four. L square. Six L square minus two pi minus pi five L square by four. If I take out L square common, we have this is plus L square. Two pi minus pi L square is pi L square plus L square. Take out L square common, you have six plus pi by four is in the bracket. If I take out six common as well, okay, six to common as well, or you can take twenty-four common, twenty-four common. Six common or twenty-four common. It's okay. Or you can just leave it here. That's the answer. L squared into in the bracket six plus pi upon four. Next section is. Solving the problems on volume of combination of solids. We are going to solve exercise question beginning with one. First problem. Given is a solid. There is a cone standing on a hemisphere, and radius of cone as well as hemisphere is one centimeter. One centimeter given here, and radius of the cone is equal to height of the cone, which means that this. Height of the cone is also equal to 
one centimeter. One centimeter as height. And what you have to find is volume of this solid in terms of pi. So volume or the total or net volume is equal to sum of the volume of cone and volume of hemisphere. Volume of the cone, I will just write here. Volume of cone plus volume of hemisphere. Volume of coal is given by the formula 1 by 3, 1 by 3 pi into r square h plus volume of hemisphere. Volume of sphere is 4 by 3 pi r cube. So half of 4 by 3 pi r cube is 2 upon 3 pi r cube. Pi r substituting the values of R and H we straight away get the answer that's the easy thing to do because R and H all are 1 here 1 centimeters all the values are unity so sub substitute straight forward now taking common terms out 1 by 3 pi R is 1 square so I will just substitute here because substitution carries marks right so 1 plus 2 upon 3 into pi one cube. This is equal to one by three into pi plus two by three into pi. This is equal to denominator is same, so add the numerator. This is three upon three pi cancel. This is equal to Pi cubic units or since the unit is given it's going to be pi centimeter cube that's the answer choose the right kindergarten a right back and matching bottle to go with, the right school, the right friends, choose the right subjects and score well, be an expert in all, the right teacher, and make sure that they like you, choose the right timing, the right bus, and take a cab if getting late, the right train, and don't stand near the gate, mind the pocket, better get into ladies compartment, and make sure your moustache hasn't started coming. Choose the right study time and forget games, IPL, IHL, rock and metal, guitar, axe. The right group and be a model to your brother, CSP. Choose the right syllabus, the right test paper, keep guessing questions for exams. Choose the right branch, the right college, the right stream, choose the right career. Lucky to have a father's business to take care of and a father to allow that the right counselor, the right form and make sure the project is submitted on time. Choose the right website and rely on your friends for more information. Oblivious of the sites they have been to, there is no end to your woes. Getting better with every step you climb up the ladder, the summer vacation shorter, the bucket list bigger, the night darker, the books heavier. The only light you have is your friends ahead of you. Probably he is right. Ever thought how? He got the direction? No more spending your energy and money on coaching classes. No more missing classes for rain, rally and nonsense. Get your interest back in subjects through our creative ways of teaching. Doubts, concepts, applications all explained through one vibrant animation. Subjects covered by multiple teachers with repeat telecast. Special programs only for basic foundation and paper analysis. Personality development. Career counseling. Admissions. 
hobbies all covered a new approach to study with long term perspective so sit back comfortably in your homes and watch study spectrum tv channel Into 3 by 2. 2 into h1. 
height h1 is 4. So 2 into 2 is 4 plus 3 into height h2 is 8. That is 3 into 8 is 24. This is equal to now 3 I can cancel out with this 3. So this is 3 pi by 4 into 28. 4 plus 24, 28. 3 into pi, 2 into 2, 4. This 3 pi is here, 2 into 2, 4 is here, 4 plus 24, 28 is here. I have taken care of all the terms. This is equal to 3 by 4. I don't want to write pi as 3.14 because if I write pi as 22 by 7, this 7 divides 28. It, that way it's easier to avoid fractions. So, 22 upon 7, 28. 4 times 7, and 7 and 7 cancel out. So, what remains is 3 into 22, which is equal to 66. What is this? 66 centimeter cube. The units are in centimeters. So, this is centimeter cube. 66 centimeter cube or 66 cubic centimeters of air is contained in this hollow object. One thing we have assumed here is now thickness if I extrapolate and write in a magnified way the thickness is going to be something like this is the wall of this object assuming this as very thin very thin negligible almost like this so assuming this we have derived we have solved this question the next question question number three from exercise 13.2 okay the question here is one jam contains 30 percent of the sugar syrup so how many uh, how much volume how much volume does 45 uh, how much volume of sugar syrup does 45 jam contain we have to find out what is the amount of sugar syrup that 45 jamuns can hold. You have to find out that. And it's given that one jamun can hold only 30% of the sugar syrup. Which means that, let us say, if, if the volume of one jamun, right, jamun appears like this. Now the jamuns are in shape of like uh, submarine, you can say. So, so volume of, excuse me, volume of, let's say, volume of one jamun is 100, 30% it means that out of 100 only 30 cubic units so let's find out the amount of sugar syrup that 45 jamuns can hold if we find out amount of sugar syrup that one jamun can hold it's very easy to find out how many 45 jamuns can hold how much sugar syrup can 45 jamuns hold so let's find out so volume of sugar syrup in one jam is equal to see 30 percent right 30 percent of volume of jam volume of jam this entire volume of jam has only 30 percent of sugar syrup the rest is something else 30% is sugar syrup, so I am multiplying the volume of only one jamun with decimal or the fraction 0.3. 30% is as good as 30 by 100, so it is 0.3. Now, volume of jamun can be written as like this. Volume of hemisphere plus volume of cylinder plus volume of hemisphere. So volume of hemisphere, let's start with volume of hemisphere, this is 2 by 3 pi r cube, okay. Since the dimension of both the hemisphere, hemispheres are same, you just attach them and assume as one, one single sphere to write this out as volume of a sphere, which is 4 by 3 pi r cube plus volume of and this hemisphere plus this hemisphere gives me 4 by 3 pi r cube and volume of cylinder is plus pi r square into h. Now, since this is a big 
7, let's take the common terms out. 0.3 multiplied by, alright? Pi r square is taken out. Pi r square is taken out. And what remains is 4 by 3 into r plus 4 by 3 into r plus h. Uh, this is equal to 0.3 into pi r square multiplied by h plus 4 by 3 into r. I, if I take if I take LCM here in the next step, this is going to be 0 0.3 into pi r square. 3h plus 4r whole divided by 3, right? So I am writing here. Doesn't matter where you write because in the end it's division. The next step, let's find out h and r. Find out h and r, solution is not done yet because this is for only one German, we have to multiply that with 45. If we find out volume for one German, then if you multiply that with 45, you get amount of syrup contained in 45 germs. Now this is equal to, in this figure, h is nothing but height of the cylinder. Height of the cylinder is 5 cm, 5 cm, right? Okay. Now here, it's not 5 cm, because this 5 cm is entire length of the germ. So if we have to subtract this length, that is radius of the hemisphere from the, this length. 5 cm minus 1.4 minus 1.4. I'll write here, this if I indicate with this h, h is equal to 5 minus 1.4, minus 1.4, right, let's make space here, and calculate inside this space, so 5 minus 2.8, if I take minus out, it's going to be 1.4 plus 1.4, 2.8, and then 5 minus 2.8 is 2.8. Right? 2.2 centimeters. Height is 2.2 centimeters. And now radius. There is only one radius that exists here. Because that radius is common for all the solid objects. Solid this hemisphere, cylinder as well as hemisphere. Now let's find out. But we know the diameter of the jamun. Diameter of the jamun is 2.8 centimeters. So radius is going to be 2.8 by 2 equals 1.4 centimeters. So 1 by 2 because 14 times 2 is uh, 4, 28, so it's 1.4. 1.4 centimeters. Well, let's substitute and find out. 0.3 into this is divided by 3. Pi is 22 by 7 into r square. What is r? This is r. 1.4 square. 1.4 into 1.4. 3 times h. 3 times height of the jam. Oh no, not height of the jam. That is height of the cylinder. Height of the cylinder, 2.2 cm. 3 into 2.2. Right? I'll write here. This is 2.2 and this is 3, right? You have to multiply this. This is as good as 22 times 3 divided by 10. That is 66 by 10, which is 6.6. .6. If you did not understand it, you can still multiply like this. 3 into 2 is 6, then point here, then 3 into 2 is 6. Plus, 4 times r. What is radius? 1.4. 1.4 into 4 is 5.6, because 14 times 4 is 56. And there is one decimal point, so you have to place a decimal point after one digit from the right hand side to give 5.6. Now this is 0.1. This is equal to 0 0.1 multiplied by 22 upon 7. Now this 7 cancel out with this 1.4 to give 0 0.2. Because 7 times 0.2 is 1.4. So 0.1 into 22 into 0.2 into 1.4. Now see, 6 plus 6 is 12. 
adding unit digits separately and hundreds, hundreds digits separately. This unit is 6 plus 6 is 12, carry 1. 5 plus 6 is 11, plus 1, 12. This is 12.2. Okay. Now, this space is when calculation is actually. See, 22 times 0.2 is going to be 4.4 because 22 times 2 is 44 and there is one point here. If I write, if I ex expand this, it is actually point, this is 2 by 10, right? In decimals or rather in rational form, it is 2 by 10 and therefore 44 by 10 is 4.4. So 0.1 into, I have taken these two terms here. Next, two, 22 into point 0.2 is 4.4. 20 into 2 is 4.4. 1.4, 1.4 multiplied by 12.2. Alright. So let's find out now. Now I am uh, removing out decimal points. So this is 1 by 10, 4.4 or that is 44 by 10. This is 1.4 that is 14 by 10. This is 122 by 10. Therefore we have 122 into 14 into 44. This is 44 divided by how many zeros? 1, 2, 3, 4. So 10,000. Let's multiply it. Okay. First, let's multiply 122 by 14 or anyways, whichever you prefer. I prefer 44 into 14 first. So 44 into 14 is what? So 14 times 4, 56. 6 carry 5. 14 times 4, 56. Plus 5, 61. We do not understand that. Understand this, we can still follow this method. So this is 4 into 4 is 16, carry 1. 4 into 4 is 16, plus 1, 17, plus 44 into 1 is 44. 6, 7 plus 4, 1, 11, carry 1. 4 plus 1 is 5, 5 plus 1 is 6. So 44 times 14 is giving me this product. So, if you multiply with this with 2, 122, let's see what we get. So, what is it? 122 multiplied by 122 multiplied by 616. 6 into 2, 12. Carry 1. 6 into 2, 12 plus 1, 13. Again, carry 1. 6 into 1 is 6. Plus one seven plus right. So this is one twenty two times one one twenty two plus six hundred plus one twenty seven twenty plus twelve seven thirty two. See, I've already calculated one twenty two times six is seven thirty two. So here also I have one twenty two times six, which is seven thirty two again. 2, 3 plus 2, 5, 2 plus 2, 4 plus 7, 11, carry 1, 3 plus 1, 4 plus 1, 5, 7. Placing points after how many digits? 4 digits. 1, 2, 3, 4, because there are 4 zeros in the denominator here. 4 is the non placing point here. But the thing is, in the textbook, you are supposed to find out approximate volume, not exact volume. So, approximate. If I you can approximate this as 7.5 or approximately equal to 8. What? Centimeter. That's it. As the volume of the sugar syrup contained in 1 chamus 8 centimeter cube. So, how many. Uh, oh, okay. <coughs> Excuse me. So, okay. How much volume of syrup does 45 chamus contain? Just multiply this by 45. 45 multiplied by 8. 8 5 is 40, 0, 4, 8 4 is 32, 32 plus 4 36, right, 8 4 is 40, 400 plus 4 32 plus 4 36, that's right, okay, approximately
approximation. Oh, okay. We are far off from the accuracy. 7.5, we have taken 8. We cannot approximate it. We can just, we can approximate 7.515 to a 7.5, but not 8. Just to avoid calculations, you cannot take, seven, you cannot just approximate 7.5 as 7, 8. You have to approximate. You can ignore these digits, but 0 0.0152 doesn't count much to the multiplication. So 7.5 multiplied by, 7.5 multiplied by, what's it? 45, 45 numbers. So do, let's do this. 5 by the 25. So this is 225 plus 40 times 7 is 280 plus 35, right? 7 by the 35. So I pre carry 28. It's like this 7 by the 35, 7 by the 28, 28 plus 3, 31. 5, 7, 1, this is 3. So you see the variation, right? The point is here. Because this is 7.5 and you have taken 75, the point is going to be placed here. So the answer is 337.5 centimeter cube or cubic centimeter. Volume of syrup containing 45 jamons is 337.5 centimeter cube. Now if you can approximate this to as 338 centimeter cube. That's the answer. So let's ensure. Let's quickly go through this again. You are given volume of sugar syrup contained in one jamun, and you are asked to find out the amount of sugar syrup containing 45 jamuns. Find out the volume of sugar syrup contained in one jamun and multiply that with 45 because there are 45 such jamuns for which you have to find out the amount of syrup. So what I have done exactly here, I find I found out volume of sugar syrup contained in one jamun. So volume is combination of, see, we are, we are dealing with combination of solids. So the combination of solids here is combination of hemisphere plus combination of cylinder plus combination of these things. Okay, 4 by 3 pi r cube. How is this 4 by 3 pi r cube? There are such two such identical hemispheres. So if I join them, it becomes sphere. So volume of a sphere is 4 by 3 pi r cube plus volume of cylinder is pi r square into h. And I've substituted the values to get the answer 338 centimeter. The next question is on pen stand. We have to find out the volume of a pen stand. I've drawn the sketch of a pen stand, and these hollow depressions are made for placing a pen. So these hollow depressions appear like this. Uh, it's like this. And pen is placed inside of it. And this is the new portion of the pen. Now, volume, you have to find out volume of the wooden pen stand. This is a cuboid with these dimensions given. The volume of the cuboid minus volume of these four conical sections or the four conical depression gives me the volume of the entire pen stand. So, I will write here. Since these are hollow, I'm not going to add the volume of these four, four conical sections. Volume of cuboid minus four conical depressions.
pi r square inch. Right? Because there are four conical sections, we have four, four times 1 by 3 pi r square inch. Length 15, breadth 10 centimeters, and thickness 3.5 centimeters. Minus 4 upon 3 into pi multiplied by r square is 0.5 square. 0.5 square, as I told in my previous class, you have to remember a few fractions. 0.5 1 by 2, and then you have point say like half, then you have 3 by 4, which is 0.75, then 1 by 4, 0.25. These are simple fractions that you have remembered. 1, then half, and so on and so forth. So R square can be written as 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 into height. Height is 1 by 4, or I'm sorry, it's 1.4. 1.4. So let's find out. So 150. I'm not going to multiply 15 and 10 first because I'm scared of decimals. I don't want to uh, include decimals. So what I will do is first multiply 3.5 by 10. It will give me 35. 15 into 35. Right? So this is 4 by 3. 4 by 3 into Pi is 22 by 7. This is 1 by 2. 1 by 2 into 1.4. You can multiply by the usual method or you can multiply like this. 15 times 5 is 75. So 5 carries 7. 15 3 is a 45. 45 plus 7 is 52. If you do not understand that, I will just multiply here for you. So this is 35 into 50. 5 times 5 is 25. 5 plus 50 plus 2, 17 plus 1 into 5 is 5, and then 1 into 3 is 3. 5, 2, because 7 plus 5 is 12, carry in this one. 3 plus 1 4 plus 1. This is easier. Okay. Minus 2 times 11. And this is 7 times 0.2. Right? But we can also cancel this one. 2 into 2. So what we have left out is 2 into 11 into 0.2 upon 3. 525 minus this gives me volume of this keyboard. So 525 minus 11 into 2 is 22. 22 into 3 is 44. Since there is one point here, so this is 4.4 by 3. In case you did not understand, 2 into 11 is 22. Into Point again written as 2 by 10. So I'm writing like this. So 22 times 2 is 44. By 10 is 4.4. Now again, divide this. Uh, this is approximately, you can say, easily 1.4, right? This is because 3 times 1 is, right? 3 times 1. Then carry forward is 1. 3 fours are 12. 1.4. Remaining is 2. So 6. It will still, if you did not understand that, I will wait for you here. Okay. What is this? 4.413. Just take 44 and 3. Let's place the point later. It's always easier that way. 14 3 is a 42. Am I right? So this is 14 3 is a 42. 2.0 and what is this? 3 6 are 18. Just leave it there because it repeats afterwards. So, 
what is it? One point. You have to shift one point because we did not include, we did not take care it as 4.4. We have taken it 44. So this will become 1.46. So, if you subtract 5.25 minus 1.46, 10 minus 6, 4, 9 minus 4, 5, right? I had carried forward, I had taken a carry from 5 here, so what remains here is 4. 4 minus 1 is 3, and 2, 5. That's the answer, 523.5. Let's tell in short where and quickly. This is a cuboid with dimensions 15, 10, 3, 3.5. And we have to find volume of this cuboid. Since these are hollow depressions, we are not going to include the volume of these hollow depressions. Instead, we are going to subtract volume of those hollow depressions from the volume of the solid cuboid. So volume of the solid cuboid minus volume of four conical depressions, which gives me LBH, length, breadth, height minus 4 times volume of, instead of just writing, adding uh, 1 by 1, you just take volume of 1 cube hollow depression and multiply that with 4 because there are 4 such depressions and you substitute to get the answer.